Hey everyone, this is Gayatri. Welcome you all to Bioschool. Hope you all are fine. In today's session, we are going to discuss about similarity coefficient index. So the question is, what is similarity coefficient index and where it is used? This similarity coefficient index, it is useful for ecologists and researchers who are doing research on community ecology. So while studying community ecology, they found that certain species or the some species that are common to several communities. Okay. So in that case, to calculate the similarity between such community samples, they use the similarity coefficient index. And the similarity coefficient index, it based on the presence or absence of the data. Okay. It depends on that the species it is present in more than one community or not. It does not depend on the abundance. Okay. So how many species are present in each community that does not matter here. So here the thing that that matters is the presence or absence of the sample. So that data are used for calculating the similarity coefficient index. So we can calculate the similarity coefficient index by simple plotting a 2 by 2 table. Now I will show you how to plot the 2 by 2 table and what it represents exactly. Look over here. So just plot a 2 into 2 table. Then write down the sample A or the community 1, sample B or community 2. Okay. Then in the 2 by 2 table put the value a b c d okay then write over here the number of species is present number of species is absent similarly for the simple b number of species is present and number of species is absent so from this table you can now know the what a represent right a it represents the number of species that are present in both the sample right while B, it represents the number of species that is absent in simple A, but it is present in simple B. Present in simple B. What the C it indicates? It indicates that the species it is present in simple A, but it is absent in simple B. Right? And what D indicates? D it indicates that the number of species that are absent in both the samples. Okay. So A it represents the number of species that is present in both the sample A and sample B. B it indicates the number of species present in sample B but not in A. And C is the number of species in simple A but not in simple B and D is that number of species absent in both the samples. So for calculating the similarity coefficient index we have to plot a 2 into 2 table and we have to know what the A, B, C, D mean. Okay. And this similarity coefficient index is to know similarity between the communities. There are more than two dozens of similarity coefficient index are present but broadly three similarity coefficient index are used. What are those? Those are Jackass index, Sorenson's index and simple matching index. So in the upcoming session I will make a video on each of these similarity coefficient index which solved previous year's CSR net question. Similarity coefficient index, this topic it is very simple and, and in examination it asking the question like this, uh, you will get a table where there are the presence of two communities or maybe more than two communities and the question is uh, calculate the similarity between the communities. So if the question is calculate the similarity between the communities, there you can use any of these three indexes. But sometime in question you will get a table where the question is about to calculate the Jackass index or to calculate the Sorenson's index or to the simple matching index. In that case, you have to use the particular formula. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this video will definitely help you a lot. Still, if you have any confusion regarding this topic, then please put a comment in the comment section down below. And please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.